For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem where you have a boom and it's extended to support the two vertical loads, F1 and F2. If the cable CV can sustain a maximum load of 1500 newtons before it fails, find the critical loads if F1 is equal to 2F2. And also, what is the magnitude of the maximum reaction at pin A? So this becomes very easy, guys. Look, the first thing you need to do is you know that this cable can support a maximum tension of 1500 newtons. So we're going to set it equal to 1500 to find that out. And then we got F2 here and we got F1 here, but you know that F1 is equal to 2F2. Let me write it down up here. F1 is equal to 2F2. So I'm going to just change this to 2F2, make it more eye appealing. So at A we have a reaction in the Y and a reaction in the X. And I think that's it. Yeah. So now that we have uh, our free body diagram, let's start building some equations. Uh, the first thing we can find is the X component of the tension and the Y component of the tension and make this problem much easier. If I found this component, which is the X and this component, which is the Y. So the X is equal to 1500 times 4 over 5. Y 4 over 5 times this 4 over this 5 that they gave us on this triangle. And it comes out to be 1200 newtons. Uh, same trail of thought for TY, 1500, except that it's times 3 over 5. This 3 over this 5. And that equals to 900 newtons. Now that we have those two, the problem becomes much easier. First, let's do the sum of the moments at A is equal to 0, assuming clockwise is positive. So 0 is equal to, remember I replaced this F1 for F2, so you're not going to see F1 in my equations. So first, the moment being created by F2 is equal to this distance right here, which is given by 1.5 times the cosine of 30 times 2 F2 plus the moment created by F2 right here at the end, which is the distance of this long dotted line, which is equal to 2.5 cosine of 30 times F2. Now we have the same that same distance, that same distance, but dy is pulling it pulling it up, so it's minus minus 2.5 cosine of 30 times dy and then we have this distance right here, this vertical distance right here which is being turned by dx and it's being turned uh, also uh, kind of clockwise so it's minus dx times 2.5 sine of 30 And yes, and now we already have the y, and we already have the x. We found them here and here. You can plug them in. And the only variable in this equation is f2. So as you can see, you can do the, the hard work over here in your calculator. And you're going to get that f2 should be equal to 724 newtons. But remember, 2f2 is equal to f1. So just plug f2 in that equation, and you're going to get that f1 is equal to double that, which is 1448 newtons. Now you might be asking, why didn't I just calculate the moment by multiplying t directly by the distance from here to here? And the answer is because that only would work if this angle was 90 degrees. And this angle is not necessarily 90 degrees. That's why you have to go and find tx and ty. All right. Unless I tell you this angle is 90 degrees, that won't work. Now, keeping that in mind, the rest of the problem becomes cake because sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero. In the x, we have minus tx plus ax is equal to zero. So ax is equal to tx, which is equal to 1200 newtons. And sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero. In the y, we got a couple of more forces, but we got them all, so still easy. We have ay 
minus 2f2, or f1, doesn't matter, we know them both, minus f2 plus dy is equal to 0. We got f2, we got f2, we got dy, all we're missing is ay, solve for ay, and you get that ay is equal to 1272 newtons. But they want you to find the reaction at A. They don't tell you the X and Y components of the reaction. So to find the reaction at A, let's call it A vector, is equal to simply the square root of AX squared plus AY squared. And when you plug in AX squared and AY squared and you square root both of them, you're going to get that the reaction at A is equal to 1.75 kilonewtons. And that is the final answer for the reaction at A. F2 and F1. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.